When was the last time you really connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? When was the last time you really felt Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is there for you? If you cannot be righteous and good in this month, then really you have no hope. There's no hope for you. Why? Because there are no excuses. Shayateen have been chained up. There is no way to go except Jannah. Jannah is open, Jahannam is closed. Every night, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala frees hundreds and thousands and millions of people who have been destined to go to, to hell. He frees them because of their good deeds. If you can't be amongst them, if you're not able to be good in this month, then really and truly, there is no hope. Nobody can now come and say, Oh, shaitan whispered into my ear. There are no shayateen whispering. If you do a bad deed in this month, realize 100% this deed is from you. Any evil that you do in this month, it comes from your own soul. So Ramadan is a reflection of who you are. If you are good and righteous in Ramadan, this shows that you have a good side to you. But if you cannot be good in this month, then realize that there is no hope for you at all. And this is not my words, this is not my speech, this is the speech of the Prophet Muhammad One day, when he was giving the Friday khutbah, he climbed up the pulpit, and his pulpit had three steps to it. And so he climbed up the first pulpit, and he said out loud, Ameen. Then he climbed up the second and he said, Ameen. Then he climbed up the third and he said, Ameen. So the companions were confused and they said, O Messenger of Allah, we have never seen you say Ameen every time you climb up the pulpit. This is the first time we have heard you say Ameen. What was the reason for this? The Prophet ﷺ said, When I was climbing up the pulpit, Jibreel came to me and told me, O Muhammad ﷺ, anyone in your nation who manages to be alive when Ramadan comes and yet cannot get his sins forgiven, then may he perish in the fire of hell. Say Ameen. So the Prophet ﷺ said Ameen. Then he climbed the second step. Jibreel said, O Muhammad ﷺ, anyone who manages to catch Laylatul Qadr and he does not manage to get his sins forgiven, may he perish in the fire of hell. Say Ameen. So the Prophet ﷺ said Ameen. And then he climbed the third one and he said, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, anyone of your ummah who manages to catch his parents, one of them or both, when they are elderly and they need his help and he is not able to service them properly and get his sins forgiven, then may he perish, say Ameen. So he said, Ameen. So three du'as were made, that there are three golden opportunities. Three opportunities that even the worst of mankind can get their sins forgiven if they only turn to Allah. Two of those opportunities are related to Ramadan. Realize that the month of Ramadan is now upon us. This sacred and beautiful month. A month that the Prophet Sallallahu during its time he stood up on the mimbar and he called the Sahaba and he gave a khutbah to them and he said, O people, know that a month is now upon you. Know that you are witnessing a month that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has made sacred. That Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has made obligatory to fast during its days. And He has requested that you stand during its nights. It's not obligatory to stand, but it is good that you do it. And this is a month that every single night Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saves people who were destined to go to the fire of hell. Brothers and sisters, this is that very month. This is the month of Ramadan.